Hi, Catherine. How are you? Um, just wanted to make this video for you to walk you through how to import your Google Classes. So you can see I'm starting right here at the home page of Savvis Realize. If you navigate up to the top, you'll see the home tab all the way to the left. I want you to take your cursor and move over two tabs to where you see classes. Go ahead and click on that. Now, once you're here, if you look all the way over to the right, you're gonna see an import Google classes tab. I want you to hover over there. And this is going to bring you to um, a page that says connect. You're going to want to choose your school email. And it's just going to walk you through this authentication. Let's you know all the things that Savvis is going to use your Google account to do. And you're going to hit allow. Once you've done that, any Google classes that you'll have will be listed here. So I have Social Studies Grade 5. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now you get to add the programs that you want to use in this class. So we're going to use the Grade 5 text. But if for any reason there was any kind of overlap and you wanted to select more than one program, you could select as many as your school has um, available to you. So you can see I've picked three here. Once I've picked all three of my programs, I'm gonna go ahead and hit import class. And just as quick as that, we are connected. So if I now hit go back to classes, you can see that social studies grade five class card is right here. And I know it's connected to Google because of this green little chalkboard icon in the top right hand corner these other classes that i have set up right here these are not connected to google classroom and you can see they're missing that icon so now if we click on our grade 5 class card you'll see any assignments data students and groups discussion boards settings and all of the programs you picked will be available here on the left hand side now, I suggest that you wait until all of your students are registered uh, in Google Classroom before you import them. But if for any reason you get a student maybe a couple weeks into the term or halfway through, this little tab right up here, Sync with Google, just by pressing that, it should update your class roster as long as it's updated in, um, in Google Classroom. So that's how to import your class. And if we navigate back up to the Home tab, you'll see your class cards look a little bit different in the home screen. So they have a color to them. And here is my Social Studies Grade 5. And all those same options are available to me right here at the bottom. What I'm going to do next is pull up the Grade 5 program. And I'm going to go right into an assignment. So we're starting here with chapter nine. I'm going to go into lesson one. And let's say I want to assign this connect activity to my students. I'm going to hit assign. Our title is right here. We select our start and end date. I'm going to assign it by class. Okay, now since I don't have any students in my fifth grade class, um, that class is not showing up for me. I would have to make sure that my students are there first. But just to walk you through it, here's my social studies um, class for grades six through eight. I'm going to assign it to them. If I have any additional instructions, I can type them here. Go ahead, click Assign. And that goes right over to the student um, side of things, letting them know they have an assignment. If you want to select more than one assignment at once, you just have to hit this little gray toggle here and turn it blue. So it'll say Select Multiple Items. And just like your online shopping, you go through, click the assignments that you want to use. 
And when you're all set, you hit Assign Selected, and you walk through that same process. Maybe we give them a little longer because it's multiple assignments. Hit Assign, and there we are. Okay, so Catherine, with that, if you have any other questions, um, please feel free to reach out. I hope uh, this helped you with what you needed for the week. And again, if you have any questions, please just let me know. Thank you.